Regarded as the world's favourite natural fibre, cotton has sown itself a very special place in Australia's landscape. People ask me every day why I love to be a farmer. Well, I can't think of any better reason than to know that when I wake up every morning, I'm growing a crop that's going to help to feed and clothe the world's population. Cotton in Australia is grown, as we're probably well aware, from central Queensland, right through now to the Victorian border. The operation we run here is rain fed. Uh, the farms that I'm operating I have no irrigation. Uh, we rely totally on the weather. We have reasonably good soils that can store a fairly large percentage of our incident rainfall and we use a, a crop pattern or rotation. The primary purpose is to store soil moisture. We look at our soil a bit like a ring tank for an irrigator or a water moisture storage. So that's, that's the primary purpose. The secondary purpose of that is that it also reduces the frequency of our primary crop, which is cotton, and that has a huge impact on the reduction of diseases. Climatic conditions at picking usually are that we're able to get a nice clean pick. The cotton's nice and white. When the leaf is taken off the crop at the end of the season, to get as much leaf off as you can so that then when you're picking, all that trash is not then picked with the lint and then going onto the gin. Australia produces consistently high quality because of its reasonably narrow geographic range and also because of our varieties. You know, we, we consistently grow one or two varieties that are high quality and renewed every few years by CSIRO cotton breeders. Australia has earned the enviable reputation as a reliable supplier with fast, efficient shipping times and reliable delivery. The Australian cotton industry has got an excellent reputation globally for being a reliable counterparty, fulfilling cotton contracts and abiding by contract sanctity. We trade under the International Cotton Association rules. Basically the consumer can be confident about the way that cotton was produced and that cotton is traceable all the way back to the farm in which it was produced. For spinners, the beautiful thing about Australian cotton is its length, strength, you know, good micron air, and it's contaminant free. So th these are the four things that are spinners prefer. And the spinners also understand that Australian cotton is always striving to be better as well. I've been using cotton from when I first started designing. I think it's an ideal fabric for our climate. I think it's a beautiful fabric to work. It can be woven in so many different ways. It's a fabric that I like for both winter and for summer. Um, in winter, I choose fabrics that have got a, perhaps a thicker weave, or I might fuse them with a, a thicker interfusing. And uh, I think it's a fabric that just wears so well. Australian cotton producers are incredibly proud of the modern industry. They've made massive advances over the last two decades as far as responsible and ethical cotton production goes. There are um, regulations and laws in place to make sure there is no child labour or pesticide abuses or human rights abuses. We've been able to, in the last 20 years, reduce the amount of pesticides we use by 95%, a massive reduction. In the last decade, we can clearly document a 40% improvement in water use efficiency. We've done work with our growers to survey them and we know that some 40% of their farm area is in native vegetation and that's really important for maintaining biodiversity. So we're very proud of these efforts that we've made over the last uh, decade to uh, ensure that we are responsible producers of a quality product. I think coming out here and actually seeing it, seeing it growing is tremendously exciting. It's great to know that you can, you can produce food and fibre for the world, someone's got to feed the world. It's just great to know that we can do something like that here on our farm and that it's so highly regarded across the world. <laughs>